Hola, hola, hola. Hola, hola. 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 Hola, hola. Hola, hola. Hola, teacher. Hola. Hello, good evening, good evening. Can you hear me? Sí. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, welcome. Okay, let me see how many people do we have now. Wow, tenemos only seven. Okay, a little bit more, please. Let me check out the attendance.
Okay, I got eight. Okay, how many people? Only just the same eight? Okay, tenemos los mismos, la misma cantidad. Bueno, vamos a pasar la lista ahí por las 8.20. Vamos a, we are going to start now. Ya no podemos esperar más porque ya el tiempo apremia. Okay, hold on a second, please. I need to check out something here before. Okay, here we go. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. Me avisan si pueden ver la presentación, por favor. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, the topic for today is information question and answer. This is class number 11. And we are going to start with this reading. This is a reading comprehension. Uh, I'm going to invite you to read this short paragraph and after you read, you are going to answer some question. Vamos a tener cinco minutos para leer esto y luego vamos a responder las preguntas que tenemos en la parte de abajo. Cada quien lo hace en forma individual and then later on we are going to compare with somebody else. Okay, you have it there. If you want, you can take on a screenshot and you can have it there in your phone.
Okay, I'm going to read it and then you can um, practice view one and later on you are going to answer this question. Okay, hello, my name is Lola, I'm nine years old. I have one brother, Martin, he's 11 years old. He live in Liverpool. I have one dog, his name is Shelly. We play in the park in the afternoon. My favorite subject at school is art. Okay, it's really short. The first activity that you need to do is just to read the text. And the second one is answer the question with one word. Solo van a responder esas preguntas con una palabra, no más de una. Okay, um, I would like to see if you want to read it. Me gustaría ver si alguien quiere leer el párrafo. Okay, Roxana. Okay. Hello, my name is Lola. I am nine years old. I have one brother, Martin. He is 11 years old. We live in Liverpool. I have one dog. His name is Chiri. We play in the park in the afternoon. My favorite subject at school is art. Okay. My favorite subject. My favorite subject. 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 Okay. And right here, we, if we live in Liverpool, we live in Liverpool. Yes. Okay, somebody else wants to read it? Jonathan? Okay, teacher. Hello, my name is Lola. I'm nine years old. I have one brother. Martin, she's 11, 11 years old. We live in Liverpool. I had one dog, his name is Shelly. We play in the bar in the afternoon. My favorite subject at the school is art. Okay, thank you. Okay, what about the question, the first question? How, how old is Lola? Only with one word. Okay, who wants to answer the first question? How old is Lola? Solo con una palabra. Nine. Okay, second, how many brothers does Lola have? One. One brother. Only one word, okay? One. Three, where does Lola live? Liverpool. Okay. Who's her dog? Chile. When do they play in the park? Um, afternoon. <laughs> Okay, and what is her favorite subject? Art. 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 Okay, thank you. Um, I don't know if somebody else wants to read the paragraph. Alguien quiere leer el párrafo? No? Muy fácil. Blanca. And then Don Jose. Eh, vaya. 
Dice, hello, my name is Lola. I am nine years old. I had one brother, Martin. He is 11 years old. We live in Liverpool. I had one dog. His name is Chili. We play in the park in the afternoon. My favorite subject at subject is a is school is art. Okay, como me dijo aquí? We live. Uh -huh. We live. Okay. Continue, sí. Mr. Beltran. Hello, Hello, my name is Lola. Lola. I'm nine years old. I have one brother, Martin. He is 11 years old. We live in Liverpool. I have one dog. His name is Chili. We play in the park in the afternoon. My favorite subject at the school is art. Okay, only one word, favorite. Favorite. Yes, my favorite subject. Okay, thank you. The last one, only one. El último, por favor, para pasar a otra actividad. I got, uh, let me see. Sara. Hello. Okay. Hello, my name, my name is Lola. I am nine years old. I have one brother, Martin. He is 11 years old. We live in Liverpool. I have one dog. His name is Chi. We, we play in the park in the afternoon. My favorite subject at the school is art. Okay, thank you. Next, please. Siguiente, por favor. Hello, my name is Lola. I am nine years old. I have one brother, Martin. He is 11 years old. We live in Liverpool. I have one dog. His name is Chili. We play in the park in the afternoon. My favorite subject at school is art. Okay, thank you. Okay, let us switch a little bit. Okay, another thing that I need is that you take into account and the way that we have uh, this question here. Otra cosa es que le den una mirada a la forma como están estas preguntas que tienen que ver con el tema de nosotros el día de hoy. But we are going to talk about that later on. Okay, let us start then, brainstorm about the different departments in your workplace. And where do you belong to? What do you do? Okay, entonces vamos a crear una lluvia de ideas de diferentes departamentos en su lugar de trabajo, a cuál pertenece usted y qué hace. Okay, I guess can, uh, I can stop chatting. I am uh, going to repeat again, brainstorm about the different departments in your workplace. Where do you belong to? What do you do there? Tenemos dos preguntas. ¿A cuál pertenece? ¿Qué hace? Okay. Wow, no veo más personas conectadas. Y justamente la tendencia que he venido viendo es que Algunos eh, iban desistiendo, ya estamos al 50% prácticamente de la, de la población inicial. Es, es complicado en el sentido que lleguemos hasta esa parte. Bueno, yo sé, cada uno tiene sus diferentes razones, pero eh, al momento, eh, imagino, les explicaron cómo funciona el programa. Okay, I'm still waiting the, the answer of the questions. Estoy aún esperando las respuestas de las preguntas. 
Let us talk about different places uh, in your workplace. Or if you want, you can say different areas if you want to say. Teacher, disculpe, eh, ¿será que nos puede poner otra vez, porfa? Okay. Gracias. Okay, you got it there. <clears throat> okay, let us talk about different departments in your workplace. Okay, the word brainstorm significa lluvia, lluvia de ideas. Okay, tell me, tell me different departments in your workplace. Mencioneme diferentes eh, departamentos en su empresa. Hola, hola. The printing area. Ah, ok. We have one. The installation area. Ok, ok, ok. Para que no nos confundamos cuando alguien más, y ahí inició don José Beltrán, si va, alguien va a continuar, levanta su manito, por favor, para que no tengamos feedback. Bueno, y por ahí está Don Edwin disculpándose porque todavía está ocupadito. Ok, continue, please. Somebody else wants to say something about eh, Don Jonathan. Um, human Resource. Ah, ok, Human Resource Department. Ok. But don't forget that we have two questions. Tenemos dos preguntas. No se les olvide que tenemos dos preguntas. 
La primera dice, where do you belong to and what do you do? As soon as you talk about different departments, you are going to say, where do you belong to and what do you do there? ¿A qué departamento pertenece usted y qué hace usted en ese departamento? But I'm still waiting for more names. Okay, tell me, tell me, tell me. Eh, Roxana. Okay. There are two departments in the school. I work in the kindergarten department in the school. A mirror school department. Okay. Somebody else? Chicken mass. Hello. We have dif different areas in, in, in a company. Okay, let me ask you some questions. For example, um, Ingrid, where, where do you work, Ingrid? What? Where do you work? Donde trabajo? O el lo mismo de where do you belong to? No, where do you work? That is the question. I'm work and then Agape. Okay. And belongs to accounting finance finance. In the fin finance department. Operation hospitality os hospitality. Hospitality and restaurant and I I uh I belong to hospitality and restaurant. Okay. What about you, Roxana Elizabeth? Sí, dígame. No lo escuché. Dígame. What about you, America? Sara, Brian. Ah, 
Katrin. <laughs> Um, I work in commercial commercial area. Is in shares. No, se, se dice así. In shares of selling um, advertising service. In ad advertising, advertising. Uh, advertising. Oh. It, it is like marketing in marketing department. Sí, mm. no, es el área de ventas. Vende, eh. Ah, I, I, I got you. Okay, in, in the sales uh -huh. area, okay. But at the same time, when we, when you talk about advertise. Advertise. Okay. Cuando habla de, 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 si dice advertise, está hablando de anuncios. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, esa es la parte de, de marketing. En algunas empresas no lo tienen eh, definido, en algo otra sí está el área de marketing o el departamento de marketing. All the panel, all the company. Ok, thank you. Ok. Eh, so, yo tengo, una, tengo una duda. Este, eh, que la empresa es de, es de publicidad. ¿Cómo lo podría usar entonces? ¿Cómo lo diría entonces? The, main, the, the name of the, the enterprise. Publicity. Si sí, ese es solo el nombre de la, de, la, de la empresa. O lo que hace realmente. Ajá. Sí, no sé. Vender como un espacio publicitario. Ok. It is it's like a, a publicity. But at the same time, uh, We can call it like, uh, let me see, I got, a, I got an, a, a specific, a technical name about that. Let me remember, I'm going to share with you that name. Pero si hay, hay un nombre específico para, para eso, ¿no? Porque publicidad sí, es todo. Era, era marketing. Eh, sí, es la parte de marketing, pero... Porque en la parte de marketing es donde se crean todas lo, lo, las estrategias de publicidad necesarias. Pero más creo que ella no se refiere específicamente a eso. Sino ya generando los espacios donde las personas pueden eh, anunciarse. Creo que así, algo así le entendí. Ejecutamos, ejecutamos ya la publicidad. A eso me refería. Ah, ok. That means that you, you said ad, like uh, no newspaper, but all, everything had to be in contact with social media, as I, I consider. Y lo hacen solamente de manera digital o también de otra forma. Hola. Es, es que es una empresa de impresión digital. Ah, ok. I got, I, got, I got you. Sí, entonces sí, es meramente publicitario. Just like a printed area, you know. Develop brand strategy. Okay, le oí ahí con feedback. No sé por qué. The the company is. Uh, The, uh, digital printing. Uh -huh. uh, we develop uh, uh, las estrategias de la marca. Okay, all these strategies about that. This, it is like marketing at the same time, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, what about uh, America? Sara? <laughs> Are you there? Okay. Let me... 
Teacher, perdón, ¿cómo se dice oficina de empleo? Ok, hold on a second, please. Hold on, hold on. Let me do something here. Ay, que no se escucha, se corta. Yo creo que la señal tengo muy mala porque no me han arreglado lo que es lo del internet, teacher. Por eso es de que se escucha cortado y de la nada no entiendo nada. Sí, ahorita sí le estamos oyendo bien, no sé. Los demás, ah. ¿cómo lo están oyendo? Hola. Oh, mi respuesta, la respuesta que yo tenía para Where Do You Work era I in Employment Office. No ah. sé si es así. Unemployment office? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes, in that way. Okay, hold on a second. Let me check out the attendant first. Una oficina de empleo donde reclutan diferentes currículum BT o CBS en Asuna. Yes, teacher. Diferentes CV, sí. Ok, at the moment that people get a uh, higher, you got a uh, percentage about that. Isn't that way? Tan pronto la persona obtiene el empleo, eh, tiene que pagar un cierto porcentaje. Um, no, no, no. no. Sí, es diferente. Tendría que esperarse a... Uh, a ser vinculado con cierta empresa para ver si cumple con los requisitos de su perfil, de los que nos solicitan. Sí, por eso decía, tan pronto la persona es contratada, ellos tienen que pagar cierto porcentaje por haberles conseguido el, el empleo. Así funciona, al menos en, en otros países desarrollados, que uno lleva su, sus documentos ellos le consiguen y luego uno tiene que pagar por cierto tiempo. I don't know if it's the same here. Uh, no, no, ahí no se paga nada, teacher, es público. Ah, ok. Ok, perfect. Ok, let me see. Ok, uh, America, present. Present. Ok, Black Esperanza. Present. Ok. Uh, Brian David. No existe, ok. Uh, Brian David. No here. Eh, well, I'm done. No está. Diego Antonio. Diego Antonio. Edwin Alexis. Presentito. Giovanni Antonio, Ingrid Geraldina, present. Is there two? Uh, Jonathan Stanley, present. Vamos a Carlos ya no está. José Luis, present. Okay. Um, Karen Michelle. Espinosa is not here. Carla Lisset. Carla Lisset. Not here. No está Carla Lisset. Eh, Katherine. Present. Okay. Lilian Soraya. Mayra Unice. Mauricio Antonio. Mauricio. No here to. Roxana. Present. Roxana Elizabeth. Ok. 
Okay, just at present. Uh, Sara Alejandra. Present. Okay, ahí estamos. Wow, tenemos. Increíble, bueno. Okay, I'm going to share with you some departments. Maybe you remember it as soon as you see it. Tan pronto lo vea, se va a recordar de ellos. Okay, take a look at this. In this uh, time, we are going to talk about business departments. Okay, the first one uh, that we have is general management. This is the department developed and executes overall business strategies. That is called general management. We also have the marketing department, operation department, finance department, sales department, human resource department, and food shape, food chase departments. I don't know if you work in one of these. Well, hold on a second. Okay. Okay, in order that you get uh, familiar with this, I would like to hear from you that you read it. If you don't know it, well, uh, you are going to get familiar from, uh, as soon as you pronounce each word. Okay, I got different department here, but I'm talking about business departments. Tengo algunos departamentos acá. Relacionados a negocios. The first one we call it general management. This is a department developed and execute overall business strategies. Es el que desarrolla y ejecuta eh, todas las estrategias de negocio. And then we had marketing department, operation department, finance department, sales department, and human resource department, and purchase department. Okay, who wants to read it? Quien me los lee para que vayamos relacionando ese, ese vocabulario, por favor. Just one, please, no more than one. Okay, Roxana. Okay, teacher. General manager. Solo la segunda palabra. La puede repetir, por favor. Management. 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 Okay. Yes. General management. This department. Develops. Aquí. Develops in skills. I know, teacher. Lo puede repetir, por favor. Yes, this department develops. Develops. And executes. And executes. And overall executes business strategies. Overall business strategies. Strate strategies. 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 No, strategies. 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 Okay, strategies. Strategies. Marketing department, operation department, finance department. Finance, finance. Finance department, 
Source Department, Human Resource Department, y la última, teacher. Purchase Department. Purchase Department. Purchase Department. Purchase Department. No, 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 no. Listen. Purchase. 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 Department. Department. Okay, next. Thank you. Okay. Eh, veamos, Ingrid. Business Department. General Management. This department will... The... The will... <laughs> Develop. I develop. develop and execute, 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 execute. <laughs> overall business strategies, 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 operation department, Finance department, sales department, humans, resource department, if purchase department. Okay, 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 okay. Next, please. Don Jose Beltran. Business department, general management, this department develops and executes overall business strategy. Marketing department, operation department, finance department, sales department, human resource department, department, purchase department. Okay, thank you. Next. Uh, Jonathan. Business departments, general maintenance, this department will develop and execute our business strategies. Marketing department, operation department, finance department, sales department, human resource department, portrait department. Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to do it? San Álvarez, ya participó. Oh. Sorry, teacher, no baja la manita. Ajá, uh -huh. ok. Ok, Catherine. Business Department. General Management. Man Man Management, 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 management. This department develop, develops and ex execute securities over business strat, strat, strategies, 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 marketing department, operation department, finance department. Sales department, human resource department, department, uh, push, push, no, see there. Purchase. Purchase department. Okay, purchase department. Okay, thank you. Anybody else? Okay, let us continue then if you don't want to talk about this. Okay, activity number two, listen to your teacher, read the following department in a company, then match them with the, the activities they perform. Okay, the first one is production, production. Listen, production. 
Second one, research and development. Research and development. Number three, purchasing, purchasing. Number four, marketing. Number five, human resources management. And number six, accounting and finance. What you are going to do is just to put the, the, the number that you consider in, in every concept that I've got here at the right side. Okay, what you need to do is just to look for the concept for each word. For example, uh, okay, the first one said research and I identify what customer wants and need at the right place. Investigan e identifican lo que los clientes desean y necesitan. And develop it. En el momento justo. Okay, what we are going to do is this. I'm going to give you some menu in order that you resolve and later on we are going to compare with somebody else. Voy a mantener un tiempo para resolverlo, luego lo vamos a comparar con los demás compañeros para encontrar la respuesta correcta. I recommend you to uh, take a screenshot. Le recomiendo que haga un, una captura o si tiene su material, bueno, ahí lo puede trabajar también. Okay, let us do it now, please. Okay, let me read it for you in order that you can have an idea. I read, it, uh, read the following, research and identify what customer wants and needs at the right place. The second one, recruit, select and train new employees for the right job in the company. Next one said, keep the financial record of transaction involving monetary inflows and outflows. Next one, say control and supervise the production, workplace and inventory. Workforce and inventory. Okay, the next one, develop, design, new or improve existing product or processes. And the last one, buy and acquire raw materials, production equipment, etc., for the use of the organization.
Okay, tell me if you finish. Finish. Finish, teacher. Okay, we are going to compare with somebody else. Okay, let us start resolving number one. Who wants to read it? What you are going to do is mention the word at the left and then continue reading the concept at the right. Lo que van a hacer es leer las palabras o la palabra que está al lado izquierdo, luego agregar el concepto que tenemos a la, en la parte derecha. Okay, don't Jose. Production, uh, control and supervise the production workforce, workforce and inventory. Okay, production, production. 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 Control and supervise the production workforce and inventory. Okay, that's why. Let me do something here. Uh, well, I can draw a line if I want. Podría hacer esto. Okay, I got it. Okay, what about the next one? Research and development. Research and development. Tell me. Jonathan. Okay, teacher. For chasing by by an accurate raw material production, equipment, etc. for the use of the organization. Do you consider the number two is that concept? Um, number three? No, number two. I'm talking about number two. Mm. Yes. Yes, teacher. Number two. Okay, repeat again the concept that you consider that is related with number two. Reléame otra vez el concepto que está relacionado con el número dos, por favor. Teacher, uh, yo le mencioné la número tres, por chasing. Okay, okay. Sí, sí, pero ahorita... Sorry, sorry. Sí, okay, but if you mention, si usted mencionó el number three, okay, tell me the concept. Um, by... Okay. And a good round material. And, and a quiet raw material. Okay. Quiet. Okay, you mentioned this one, right? 
Yes, teacher. Okay, hold on a second. Um, okay, purchasing by an acquire raw material production equipment, etc., for the use of the organization. Eso sería purchasing, pero nos hace falta el number two. Tenemos a Roxana Álvarez, díganos, number two, please. Versus a ser number two, research and development and research and identify what customer want a new at the right place. Mm, okay, number two. Yes. Uh huh. What about somebody else? There is alguien más. Is that right or wrong? For me is teacher. No. For for me is reassure and identify what customer want and need at the right place. Okay. That means that you are saying that that you are agree with with the lady. Catherine, díganos. Number two, research and development. Mm -hmm. Esa es la, que, la dos, ¿verdad? Yeah, number two. Develop, design, new, uh, new or in. Yeah. Develop design, new or improve existing production or process. Ah, okay. Number two. You are saying that number two is this one. Yes. Okay, that is correct. Research and development. Develop, design, new or improve existing product or processes. Pero me va a decir más de alguno, pero mire, arriba dice research también y ahí habla de research. Ojo, ojo, we need to be careful about the, all those concepts. Ya veremos cómo nos va a finalizar esto. Ok, uh, number three, we already have it here. Teníamos ya el número tres. Okay, and um, what about number four, marketing? What is marketing? Veamos en qué consiste el marketing. Y ahí vamos a resolver la duda que tenían algunos. Me dice Blanca Esperanza. Vaya, voy a intentarlo. Okay, try to do it. Mar marketing, research and in the what question one and need a the right place bingo that is marketing this is marketing el marketing lo que hace es que investiga e identifica lo que el, los clientes quieren y necesitan en el lugar adecuado eso es marketing ya yeah. Marketing, research, and identify what customer wants and need at the right place. Okay, let us continue. Number five, human resources management. Number five, uh, Jonathan. Is a recruit. Select and train new employees for the right job in the company. Ah, okay. You are saying this is this one, right? Okay, recruit, select and train new employees for the right job in the company. Reclutar, seleccionar, entrenar nuevos empleados para el empleo correcto en la compañía. Okay. 
Number six, an accounting and finance. Es el más difícil de, de, de encontrar, veamos. Chamo. Which one? ¿Cuál es? Keep the financial record and of the transact transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. Ah, okay, accounting and finance. Keep the financial record of transaction. Transaction involving monetary inflows and outflows. Esos dos términos es necesario que ya lo vayan poniendo ahí en algo aparte, porque esos son ya términos técnicos, son entradas y salidas. Involving monetary inflow and outflows. Ok. Ahí estamos. Okay, thank you. Try to keep in mind all these terms. Trate de que se le queden estos términos, por favor. Now, I, I'm going to talk about something different. Okay, hold on a second, please. Okay, I'm going to share this with you. And we are going to start in this way. Hold on a second, please. Okay, let us talk about information question in simple present. What can you infer at the moment that I say information question? ¿Por qué será que se llaman así information question? ¿Alguien tiene una idea? Or no ideas about? No, teacher, I don't have an idea. Any idea about, okay. The same concept, tell us, what is it about? El mismo, el, el mismo tema nos dice sobre qué trata. Son preguntas de información. Remember that we already have studied yes, no questions. Hemos estudiado las preguntas de sí y no. Sí. Entonces ahora vemos lo que se llama information question in simple, simple present. And do you remember uh, the question that I showed you at the beginning? Le mostré una pregunta en el reading. We call it information question. But let, let us see what happened here now that you have an idea. Okay, an information question begin with the question words. Ah, okay, ¿Y ¿cuáles son las question words? Veamos, ¿qué sabe usted? Podría ser, 
teacher, okay. podría ser what? Ah, ok, WH word question. Podría ser what? Ok, ¿qué más podría ser? Who? Who? Where? Why? Where? Why? Where? Ok, what else? ¿Qué más? Wish. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Let us see what we have here. When? When, okay. Posiblemente vamos a ver algunas no tan comunes. You do a das only in sentence with a main verb. Okay. You do a das only in sentences with a main verb. And otherwise, use the form of be. De lo contrario, si no, si no, pues podemos hacer uso de una forma de be, pero veamos cómo. Okay, let us start with who. Vamos a comenzar con who. ¿Qué dice en el, en el, en el small circle? ¿Qué dice en el círculo pequeño? Who is for? People. People. Okay. Y luego tenemos una pregunta ahí que dice, who, who can, can be the subject or a question? Ah, okay. Sí. Okay, entonces ahí tenemos who. ¿Cómo podría hacer uso yo de, de la palabra who para hacer una pregunta? Acuérdense que por eso se llaman uh, information questions. Son preguntas de información. Con una pregunta puedo obtener la información requerida. Teacher podría ser who is she? Ah, who is she? Who is she? She is the new secretary. Ella es la nueva secretaria. Ok. En otro ejemplo. ¿Alguien más? ¿Sí? ¿Otro ejemplo usando who? Podría ser who is your friend? Yes, could be in that way too. Or you can also say, who's, who's the man? Who's the girl? ¿Quién es esa chica? ¿Quién es ese hombre? Uh, who's your boss? And also, uh, when you have a classmate uh, and you run into with them after 20 years and you, you ask some question like, who's your your husband, who's your wife? Cuando se encuentran los compañeros de hace 20 años y le pregunta, bueno, y al final, ¿quién es tu esposa? ¿Quién es tu esposo? You use who? Okay. Let us see what else. Okay, who is for people? Who can be the subject of a question? ¿Quién puede ser el, el sujeto a una pregunta? Who usually comes before the singular verb. Ojo con esto. Who usualmente viene antes de un verbo en singular. And let us see the example that we have here. Okay, who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? ¿Quién quiere leer? Nadie quiere leer. Okay. ¿Puedo leer, teacher? Okay, ¿quién levantó mano primero? Creo que fue don José Beltrán. Sí, yo no la levanté. Mr. Beltrán. Está bien que le haya hecho. Ok. Who wants to do it? Pero que lea uno, por favor. Who are you teachers? My teacher, I... Again, again. Solo uno. Okay, repeat the question, please. Repita la pregunta. Who are your teachers? 
Uh, okay, this is who are your teachers? Your teachers. Okay. What about the possible answer? Continue. Yes, the second line, please. My teachers are Mr. Chida. Chida. Your Chida. Your Chida and Miss Lee. And Miss Lee. Okay. Somebody wants to read the next question, please. Okay, Ingrid. Who is your advisor? What about the possible answer? Mr. Michael is my advisor. Okay, Mr. Michaels is my advisor. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, the last question. Alguien lee la siguiente pregunta, por favor. Only one, please. Teacher. No. Who helps you? Who, who helps you? Who helps you? Okay. Who helps you? Milin and Ignacio. Ignacio. Help me. Help me. Okay, ¿Quién, quién, ¿quién le ayuda? ¿Quién le ayuda? ¿Quién le ayuda? Okay, be careful about that. Okay, okay, let me see. What else do we have here? ¿Qué más tengo? Okay, boom. It's different because uh, the ending sounds is different. Boom and boom. ¿Qué pasará con boom? Dice que. Who or whom can be an object of a verb. Ambos pueden ser un objeto de un verbo. Who is only for formal questions. El whom es usado solamente para preguntas formales. Ojo con eso. And who is for informal speech. Let us see if we have some example here. Okay, who or whom do you ask for help? ¿Qué dice esa, esa pregunta en español? Veamos. ¿Quién me lo dice? ¿A quién le, le pedirías ayuda? Okay, what about the possible answer? I asked my tutor. I asked to my tutor, okay? To my tutor. What about what? What is for scenes? What is for scenes? What can can be the subject of the question too. También puede ser un sujeto de, de quién? De una pregunta, la palabra what puede ser un sujeto. What can also be an object of a verb. Y también puede ser un objeto de un verbo. Veamos ejemplos. Okay, you got it there. Who wants to read it? The first question, one, what interests you? And the possible answer, books and movies interest me. The next question say, what is in the back? ¿Qué hay en la bolsa? What is in the back? My lunch. Is in the back. Okay, another one. What do you want? What do you want? I want some money. 
And the next one say, what does she teach? Enseña ella, she teach history. Ella enseña historia. Okay. Let us see where. Ready for questions about places. Voy a usar where para preguntas relacionadas con lugares. And we have some example here. Okay, who wants to read the first question? Let me know, please. Thank you. Okay, go ahead. Uh, the first question is, where is the snack bar? Okay, where is the snack bar? The answer is, it is in the student center. Okay, it's, oh, it is, what was it? Where's the snack bar, okay? It is, or oh, it's in the student center, okay? Next question. Where are you, uh, where are your classes? And the possible answer there in the new science building. Next question. Where does the class meet? Where does the class meet? Answer, it meets in more hall. Okay. ¿Qué, ¿Qué se entiende por esa pregunta cuando dice, where does the class meet? It meets in, in Moore Hall. ¿Qué se comprende sobre eso? Veamos. ¿Qué, ¿En dónde se reúne? Where, where does the class meet? ¿Sí? Como quien dice, ¿dónde, dónde dan la clase? Ok. And the last one, where do we go now? Where do we go now? And the answer is, tell me, ¿cómo es la respuesta? We go to English class. We go to English class. As you can see, all the WH word question, we need to answer it with, uh, with a lot of information. Generalmente, todas las preguntas con WH, Son preguntas de información, por lo tanto, hay que dar información sobre lo que nos están preguntando. Ok, hold on. Okay, let us talk now about when. Vamos a hablar de when. ¿Qué sucede? ¿Qué dice when? When is for question about time. Vamos a usar when para preguntas referentes a qué? Al tiempo. Okay, related with time. Let us see some examples. Okay, the first one, the first question said, where is the final exam? When is the final exam? And the possible answer, uh, it, it is the next week or it's the next week. Both are correct. The next question, when are our papers due? And the possible answer, they are or they're due on Wednesday. Estarán listos el miércoles, sí. Okay, next question. When does class begin? And the possible answer, it begins in five minutes. And the last one, when do you work? And the answer is, I work on Monday and Friday. Okay, who wants to read it? ¿Quién las lee? 
Desde la primera teacher o la última? Yes, from the beginning to the end, please. Number one. Okay, do it. When is the final exam? Here is the next week. Continue. Yes, please. When are our papers due? Papers. There are. Excuse me. Papers. Papers due. Papers due. They are due on Wednesday. When does class behind? It's behind I'm five minutes. Begin. When do you begin? When, when does class begin? When does class begin? It begins in five minutes. In five minutes. In five minutes. Five minutes. In five minutes. When do you work? I work on Mondays and Fridays. Okay, I work on Monday and Friday. Okay, thank you. Okay, let us see what else do we have here. Okay, we have the word how, W-H. Right here is different, W-O. H O W, it is different, you know. Pero siempre va a considerar dentro de la WH porque están, aunque sea en forma uh, invertida, pero tienen WH. Por eso se llaman WH word questions. Okay, how can be for a degree? How can be for a state or condition to? And how can be far away for a method? Okay, tenemos entonces diferentes formas. El how se puede usar para diferenciar diferentes niveles o grados. También para diferentes estados. Y también puede ser usado para describir una manera o un método de algo. Para eso se usa. Okay, and I got some examples here. How is your math, math class? And the answer could be, it is a very hard, or it's a very hard. Okay, the next one say, how, how are you? I'm okay. And the last one say, how do you get to school? And the answer, I get here by bus and subway. Okay, who wants to read it? ¿Quién desea leer esto? Practica, practica. Okay. Let me see, Jonathan. Do it. Okay, teacher. How are you match clash? It's very hard. How are you? Are you okay? How do you get to the school? Um, I get hurt by bus and subway. Okay, who wants to continue? Really? Who wants to read it? Okay, any, anybody, oh, okay, let me finish with this then. Okay, let us see why, 
Why is for question about reason? Why se usa para preguntas si para la razón de algo? For example, say what is the building closed? ¿Por qué está cerrado el edificio? Uh, it's closed because it's a holiday. Okay, the second one said, why aren't they home? And the answer, they're on vacation. The next one said, why does Alex uh, come home so late? ¿Por qué viene Alex tan tarde a casa? And the answer, he has to job after school. Él tiene un empleo después de la escuela. And the last one, why isn't he in class today? ¿Por qué no está en clase él hoy? And the answer, he isn't in class because he's six. Él no está en clase porque está en clase. Okay, who wants to read? ¿Quién, quién desea leer? Let me know, please. Who wants to read it? Quien desea leer? Jonathan, you can do it. Okay, teacher. And why, why is the building closed? Um, possible answer is closed because it's a holiday. The next, why aren't they home? They are on vacation. Why does Alex come home so late? He has a job after school. And why isn't he in the class today? He isn't in class because he's sick. Only that, teacher. Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to do it? Alien Max, por favor. Come on, my needs are all view practice. Okay, Mr. Bertrand. Son pocos, deberían de hacerlo todos. Why is the building closed? It's because it's a holiday. Why aren't they home? They're on vacation. Why does Alex come home so late? He has a job after school. Why isn't he in class today? He's in class, in class because he's sick. Sick. He's sick. Sick. Okay. He is sick. Okay. Repeat the first one, please. Repita por favor la primera. Why is the building closed? Okay. Why is the is the building closed? Building closed. No. Lost. Closed. Yes. Lost. Why is the building closed? Sí, más adelante creo vemos una clase referente a cómo pronunciar eh, los verbos irregulares cuando terminan en ed. Generalmente no se pronuncian tal como están así. Closed. Si por ejemplo fuese el verbo caminar, walk, y va a tener ed, walk it no existe. Entonces, pero vamos a ver más adelante una clase referente a eso. Okay, thank you. Uh, somebody else wants to do it? Alguien más? No? Okay, let me stop here. I'm going to share something else related with the same topic. Voy a mostrar algo con eh, relación al mismo tema, a las mismas palabras que ya vimos, pero eh, quizás un poco más dinámico para ser digerible para ustedes. Okay, take a look at this. 
Okay, uh, I don't know if you can see it very well. No sé si lo puedes ver bien. Okay, we, I got it there. Okay, take a look at that. Si lo miras. Ahí está resumido. Yes. Yes, teacher, se ve bien. Okay, I got who is a... Uh, is the person, what is a sense or an action? La palabra what la voy a usar para una cosa o una acción. When I'm going to use it is a, a time expression. Cuando se refiere a tiempo, I'm going to use when. Where is a play, is a location. What about how? Is the way something is or the way someone uh, something happens, you know? Ese es el, el, el how. And why is the reason? El why es la razón. Okay, but let's move a little bit. Pero movámonos un poquito hacia adelante. Ahora tengo, I got different here. And say it is a question in English for which an adequate answer is to give information instead of answering yes or not. Typically introduced by the word who, which, what, where, when, or how. Also called information question. De la que ya hablamos. Eso ya lo dijimos. Cierto. Aquí estoy solo reforzando el tema. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, we have some example for uh, which year are you going to dress in the show? And also you have it in Spanish. Uh, where did, did you buy this bag? Talking in uh, simple part, what is your favorite color? Which is your favorite color? Why does uh, he look so sad? Por qué? Ella parece tan triste. When will you sign those documents? ¿Cuándo firmará esos documentos? Esos serían algunos ejemplos relacionados con este tipo de preguntas. And I got some questions here. I don't know if you want to read it. No sé quién la quiere leer. I got it in a big one way. Ingrid? How long did it take you to arrive to the party? How much beer did they drink? Where is the shower? How often do you go to the theater? Home did you visit at the hospital? Whose idea was that? Okay, whose idea was that? Okay. How much beer did they drink? Where, where's the shower? How often do you go to the theater? Okay, uh, are some questions related with this, but hold on a second, please. Let me see what else. Okay, um, we have something here that you can uh, take a look of that. We talk about simple present WH question with the auxiliaries doing that, for example. 
I got to hear what do you do on Saturday morning? ¿Qué hace usted los sábados en la mañana? What do you do? What does she do on weekdays? ¿Qué hace ella durante la semana? Or when do you go to school? Or when does he play? Serían algunas preguntas referentes a usar do and does. But let me move a little bit more. As you can see, we have who, what, how, where, why. We have the concept related with uh, uh, an example about that. What is una de las más comunes en inglés que se puede utilizar para pedir información sobre algo, para pedir la, que repita una información o para confirmarla. En español puede significar qué o cuál. Veamos algunos ejemplos. What are you up to today? ¿Qué harás ahora? What did you tell, tell her? ¿Qué le dijiste a ella? Son algunos ejemplos. But let me go back again to my presentation because of the time. Déjeme regresarme a mi presentación. Okay, let me see. According to the time, we are going to work on exercise number five. Okay, uh, the, the instructions say create question based on the, on the answers. Let us see what can you do about. Hold on a second, please. What was tomorrow? Okay, we have it there. I stand. I had to write a report about my production every day. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? I work in the blue building. And you point to the building, right? ¿Cómo sería la pregunta basada en las respuestas que ya tengo? María and I start working at 10 p.m. María y yo iniciamos trabajando a las 10. We design and other create the new product. Nosotros diseñamos y otros crean el nuevo producto. Había que establecer bien la pregunta. They have a meeting because we had to talk about the inflow and outflows. Tenemos que reunirnos para hablar de entradas y salidas en la empresa. Okay. I don't know if you have a, 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 any questions so far from here. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta. Tell me. De mi parte no, teacher. Okay. De mi parte todo claro. Okay, hold on a second. Let me show you something here before I... Okay, déjame ver algo acá. Okay, I need to show you this. Voy a mostrarles esto, que es lo que aparece en el material. Ok, esto es lo que aparece en el libro, vean. Okay, how do you simple present uh, information question? For example, what do I do? I supervise the production worker. Esa sería la respuesta. Como es una respuesta de información amplia, entonces ahí está. Where do you work? ¿Dónde trabaja usted? I work in accounting department. When do we go to meetings? We go to meetings two times at week. 
And the next one, how do they plan the marketing? How do they plan the marketing? They investigate the customer need. Eso es lo que hacen. And the last one, what time do you take breakfast? I take breakfast at 8 a.m. Okay. And let me see what else we have. Okay, we already talked about this. En ese ejercicio 5, lo que ustedes tienen que hacer, ya dijimos que es crear la pregunta basado en la respuesta. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta de uno, por ejemplo, de este ejercicio? Teacher, no sé si estaría bien. What are you doing? What are you doing? You are uh, using the progressive. Okay, but yeah, you can use it. Pero si usted mira la respuesta, no, no está en progresivo, porque solo le dice, I have to write a report about the production every Friday. Sería entonces, what are you do? Would be in that way too. Somebody else? Alguien más? What do you work? Could be, could be that too. But I guess it's better if you say, what do you have to do? Eso quizás sería lo más elemental, hacerlo de esa forma. Okay, could be in this way. What? Hold on a second, let me switch. What? Do you have to do? Okay, you got one there. What do you have to do? I have to write a report about production every flight. Podría ser una manera de hacer la pregunta uno. What about the second one? I work in a, in a blue building. ¿Cuál sería la pregunta eso? Where do you work? Oh, okay. Where do you work? Okay, what about number three? Maria and I start working at 10 p.m. Teacher, no sé si sería when you start. Mm. Como diciendo, a qué hora iniciaste a trabajar. Sí, I got your point, but we need to look for in other words, Maria and I start working at 10 p.m. Okay. Esa respuesta me está diciendo que, que la pregunta tendría que decir, what time do you start working? What time do you start working? Or and also I can say what time do you and Maria start working? Okay, what else? Number four. Any idea? Teacher, okay, tell me. En la tercera podría ser what time do they start uh, work? 
Okay, podría ser así. What time do they start working? Yeah, could be in that way. Okay, number four. Number four. Esta otra teacher. What do you do at work? What do you do? At work. At work, okay. Será entonces la respuesta, we design another, create a new product. Sí. Okay, we already mentioned number three, what time do you start working? Okay, and number four could be, how do you create the new product? ¿Cómo se crea un producto nuevo? And number five could be, why do they have a meeting? Okay. I guess time is over. Y al final terminamos cuantos? Wow, qué poquitos. Yo en esto ya más de, de año y esta es la segunda vez que sucede que un grupo eh, llega hasta ese porcentaje. No sé cuáles serán las razones aún todavía. Bueno, la última clase muchos dijeron que eran por sus trabajos. I don't know. I'm not sure about that. But it's necessary to know the importance of uh, learning a new language. Okay, time. So let me check out the attendance. Déjeme ver la asistencia. Okay, let me see. America Elizabeth. Present. Okay, thank you. Blanca Esperanza. It's not here. Eh, Brian David. Dani Carolina. Diego Antonio, Edwin Alexis. Present teacher. Okay, he's there. Edwin Alexis, okay. Uh, Giovanni, he's not here. Ingrid Geraldina. Present. Okay, he's there too. Um, Jonathan Stanley. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Luis. I'm here. Okay. Karen Michel. Carla Lisset. Catherine. Present. Lilian Soraya. Okay, let me see. Um, Mayra. It's not here. Mauricio. Mauricio, I saw Mauricio, I guess. Bueno, no está, no está. Roxana Álvarez. Present. Roxana Elizabeth. Ok, Roxana Elizabeth está presente. Eh, Sara Alejandra. Present. Ok, Sara. Bueno, 
última recomendación, si tienen a compañeros de trabajo que están en el módulo, por favor invítenlos a que terminen el módulo. Estamos ya en la tercera semana. Eh, es importante el ir cumpliendo las actividades en la plataforma para poder aprobar el, el módulo. Ok, de acuerdo a la lista, hoy es la clase 11. Le corresponde a don José Luis Beltrán los 10 minutos referentes a la tutoría. Si no tiene preguntas, bueno, eso lo veremos al final. Ok. For the rest, thank you very much and I hope to see you tomorrow. Remember, this is the third week that we are starting and in Harvey, we are going to be uh, on Friday and we are going to start with the last week of the class. Okay. Thank you and good night, teacher. Good night. Muchas gracias, teacher. Feliz noche a todos. Okay, thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Okay. Good night, Good night teacher. Bye. Take care. Arne Blanca se sleep now. Veamos si que ya se durmió Blanquita o qué le pasó. Okay, uh, Mr. Beltran, I don't know if you have any question related with the topic that we have studied, not only yesterday, but in the previous days, maybe you have uh, a doubt related with something. Uh, Bueno, no sé si hasta el día de hoy tiene alguna consulta referente a algún tema que hayamos visto o el que vimos hoy. No, yo creo que eh, todo ha estado bien. Creo que también es más eh, lo que tenemos que hacer es dedicarle un poco más de tiempo aparte de, de estas dos horas. Eh, si no, se hace más difícil. Sí, Pero... de hecho, eh, estas dos horas son como una tutoría porque el resto es como un auto teaching y eso es lo que a muchos les cuesta entender y por eso es que algunos sienten muy duro porque solamente en las dos horas eh, es muy difícil siempre hay que tener un tiempo aparte para poder comprender algunas ideas y regresar ver el vídeo otra vez y así sí eh. Eso es, la verdad que, que con las clases en línea eh, hay que ser bien aplicado. Eh, porque no es como una clase presencial que tienen que trabajar el libro, trabajan los apuntes, o pasan a la pizarra. En acá se tiene que ser más, más aplicada y creo que, bueno, por lo menos a mí me falta eh, un poco más de tiempo, pero trato de, trato de hacerlo. Sí. Sí, y la, y la cuestión es que acá eh, es muy importante la participación activa de cada uno. Hoy que son menos, eh, deberían de participar todos, pero si usted se da cuenta, solo los mismos personajes son los que están participando. Al sí, resto, yo creo que se le pone... a, veces, ¿Sí? a veces yo siento que hablo mucho, pero es que cuando todos se quedan callados ya... Y se quedan quietos, entonces... Eh, pues uno trata de, de hacer y de incluir a todo el mundo, pero cuando ellos no ponen de su parte, es bien complicado. Porque hay lecturas sí. fáciles que pueden hacerla todos. Y yo les pregunto, ¿quién más? ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? Y de repente hay un silencio, entonces es bien difícil. Y lo, lo que decía al inicio es que ya tengo más del año de trabajar en esta empresa. Es la segunda vez que me quedo con el 50%, no sé, será que la parte al momento de, 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 de hacer la inducción al, al programa, no sé si es que algo falló, no le dieron todos los detalles, 
o realmente fue un grupo donde la mayoría todavía está trabajando, porque eso eh, me lo han escrito por ahí, que está, algunos están de oyente y todavía están en sus trabajos. Entonces trato yo de entender eso, pero al mismo tiempo sí me preocupa porque es eh, bastante la deserción. Entonces, sí, a mí, a mí la verdad se me... Bueno, los lunes, ya llevaba dos lunes que venía como media hora tarde, ahora sí pude estar desde el principio. Eh, y bueno, y el viernes que teníamos, teníamos un montaje y, y, y se me complicó con la gente que habían mandado, entonces tuve que ir, pero eh, la, de ahí por lo demás tratamos de estar eh, todos los días. Sí, claro. Sí, yo creo que también eh, la, algunos no, no han entendido que todos estamos desde cero. O sea, eh, si nos equivocamos, pues la idea es ir corrigiendo, pero quizás la pena también ha hecho que, que algunos se hayan desertado, no entregan todas las clases. Sí, pero fíjese que ese, eso es algo bien, bien eh, importante mencionarlo. A todos se les dice o se les da la oportunidad de que puedan hacer las preguntas pertinentes, porque para eso se ha ubicado en el nivel más básico. Aún y cuando, por ejemplo, si alguien tiene ventajas y sabe que está en un nivel eh, de principiante, él tiene que bajarle un par de rayitas también para estar con los demás compañeros. Por eso iba al inicio mencioné que eh, me iba a adaptar a la mayoría, no iba a ir corriendo con tres que ya tenían más eh, fluidez, sino era acompañarlos a todos, pero ni modo, eh, ojalá que el día de mañana puedan conectarse más y me alegra que no tenga dudas. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you very much for your time and, and, and continue doing this. At the end, you are going to enjoy. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Bye.